All right, guys. Time for another collection update. Last time I checked in with you guys, uh, it was an absolute disaster. Um, we had Joe Biden still as the candidate. And basically, let me get out of here. Let me go back to our map. Basically, uh, it was after the debate and after Trump had gotten shot and there was an attempted assassination and the whole map was falling apart. Trump was sweeping the Sun Belt. He was sweeping the blue wall. He was almost turning states like New Jersey into Republican states, Minnesota, Virginia. It was starting to look like an absolute bloodbath and the Republicans were really settling into that idea and getting very, very uh, excited about it. Um, well, as we predicted, Obviously, Joe Biden did drop out of the race, and we uh, had a scramble for about 12 seconds to find the next candidate, which ended up being seemingly Kamala. Kamala, Jesus, now they they got me messed up, messed up as well. Kamala Harris, who at this point has consolidated support and has started campaigning as the presumptive Democratic nominee. She is weighing some vice presidential selections, and we will now proceed to look at what the next iteration of this map will be. So uh, we don't know who the vice presidential pick is. That might change some calculations. But let me go ahead and start reversing and rewinding some of the trends here. So Kamala on the ticket basically guarantees that New Jersey and Minnesota and, oops, and Virginia are back to being safe blue states. OK. Uh, it also changes the landscape in places like North Carolina. Let's let's sort of let's sort of let's keep North Carolina where it is for a second, and let's go back to the states here that make up the blue wall. Now, Joe Biden was struggling in Michigan because he lost a lot of support among the Muslim population and young population uh, as a result of his policy in Gaza and with Israel which seems like Kamala will be able to distance herself uh, a bit from, and I believe with a surge in support and picking what seems to be a Democrat, uh, a uh, vice president that will shore up support in this region, along with a lot of the policies that her uh, that brought back manufacturing in these parts of the state. I think, and Michigan being one of those safer of the blue wall states, Michigan should safely fall back into the Democrats column. I believe that they will win this with this current ticket. Um, I believe if Kamala picks uh, Josh Shapiro, I believe she's already leaning towards taking Pennsylvania. But if she picks Josh Shapiro, I think it is almost certain that she will take Pennsylvania. This is the way I see the map swinging sort of in a conservative, uh, a conservatively predicting, or, or you know, if we if we sort of look at where the polling is, at this moment, Wisconsin is still very much a toss up uh, that could go either way. And I see Nevada probably swinging back, although I don't know how much uh, Kamala's support sort of overlaps there in, in Nevada. I, it's hard for me to be sure about Nevada. It's hard for me to be sure about Arizona. Then there is Georgia, which Joe Biden won in 2020, and then the senators, Raphael Warnock and um, John Ossoff, also won their elections. So Georgia, and again, all these races were very, very close, but when it came down to MAGA, MAGA uh, um, Republican versus uh, the Democrat, the generic Democrat, people tended to surge in that direction. There's a large African-American population. They'll get very excited hopefully, to go out and support Kamala. And if they could be the ones to put her over the edge, then that might just be enough. Um, potentially not a diverse enough population in Wisconsin, Nevada, and Arizona, um, and North Carolina could also be in, in the question, but I'm not confident enough to say that there will be the support there. Georgia seems to be the most interesting one. But if I had to put a prediction at this moment, um, I might say it looks something like this. This is going to be a, a close one, guys. It's going to be very, very close. And I don't know. I, I can't be sure. I can't be certain. It's going to be interesting to see how things shape up. It could, the, the map could get stronger for Kamala, uh, depending on how she ends up running from here forward. 
or she could have a bunch of gaffes and uh, slip ups and Trump could consolidate or have some kind of, you know, another miraculous thing happen that ends up uh, surging support for him. So it's it's back and forth right now. But obviously, it's a lot looking a lot better. And the key is a lot of these places are also winnable for the Democrats. They won them last time. They could very easily come and, and win them through again. So we could be in a weird way looking at a similar result. I don't necessarily think so. It's a different dynamic. Kamala appeals to different voters. And so that's why I sort of see things the way I do um, in this way. I'm not going to give North Carolina there just yet. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's how I'm going to have it for now. Um, and we'll see how things shape up. So the Democrats back in the driver's seat, I would say the favorites to win just so slightly at this point. And that'll do it. Let me know what you think in the in the comments and please subscribe. And I will see you guys in a few weeks for the next update in this crazy, crazy election. All right. Have a good one.